It's the last one. Hi everyone, it's me, Miss Jenny, and we have arrived at the very last chapter of the Super Mario Brothers, the movie, junior novelization from the 90s. Can you believe it that we're here? I can't. <laughs> I've never fallen through on anything in my life. Personal growth. Last time in chapter 14, we uh, saw the dimensions merge and then unmerge and then Mario and everybody de-evolved Koopa into slime. Then he got run over by a car. And then he's like gone and stuff. But then the fungus receded from everywhere else. So that was totally bizarro. And uh, Luigi told Daisy that like he like wants to be with her or whatever. And she was like, nah, brah. I gotta find out where I belong. And then they embraced and kissed. And that's how it ended. So now we're going to find out how uh, this entire book ends in just a moment. Are you guys ready? I'm not, but I'm going to put on a brave face just for you. Chapter 15. Two weeks later, Mario, Daniela, and Luigi sat in the Mario's apartment watching themselves on Our Miraculous World. They returned the missing Brooklyn women and saved a parallel world from a ruthless dictator. I'd call them the Super Mario Brothers. Next, on Our Miraculous World, the man on the moon is actually Elvis. I guess we gotta watch, Mario said. Mario and Daniela clasped hands and smiled at each other. Beside them, Luigi leaned his chin on his hand and milked. It had been a rough two weeks without the woman he loved. Which is all nice and good and all, but again, they were only together for like a couple hours. What are we doing? What is this? What's happening? Maybe this is the epic romance that we needed this whole time. Suddenly, they heard pounding on the door. Before the brothers could get up and answer it, the door flew open. Daisy stumbled in. Daisy's back. <laughs> Yay. Her shirt was scorched and tattered. Her hair tousled, and a fire gun was hanging by her side. Daisy! Luigi quickly jumped up and hugged her. Luigi! Daisy quickly kissed him. Hot. You guys have to come with me. You've got to help me. What? Luigi asked. What's wrong? You're not gonna believe it, Daisy gasped. Oh, I'll believe it, Mario cried, grabbing his tool belt. Whatever it is, I'll believe it. And guys, I wish this was the a lie, but that's, that's it. That's, that's how it ends. The end. There's not even the end, it just ends. It's a big blank page there. That's it. That's the book. That's how it ends a cliffhanger. <gasps> you know, the movie also ended in the same cliffhanger. <laughs> it's a good time. Let's talk about that for a second. So the ending of this movie and this book is a cliffhanger that something else happened in the other dimension. Um, but, uh, what isn't in this book, but in the movie, is a mid credit sequence, by the way. There's a mid credit sequence. Hello, way before Marvel did it, they did a mid credit sequence where Spike and Icky are in this dimension and are being approached to make a movie about their lives and they want to call it the Super Koopa Cousins. It's excellent. I would have watched that movie. 
So all the way back in chapter eight, I said that there was pictures in the middle of the book and that I would share them with you. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, I think it's really funny. The captions that like these kind of books give the, <laughs> the pictures. Okay. So for the first picture on this page, Mario Wright and Luigi, Brooklyn's best plumbers. The second one on this page says, Luigi and Daisy explore the tunnel beneath the archaeological dig. And so, um, these look like this. Here's the first one. Ooh, ah. Here's the second one. Ooh, ah. Okay. Moving on. The sprawling city of Dino Hatton awaits Mario and Luigi at the far end of the tunnel. Dino Hatton is a dangerous place. Even an old lady will rob you if you give her a chance. Hilarious. This one's like a full page picture. How exciting. King Koopa disguised as a lawyer, questions Mario and Luigi closely. <laughs> this hairstyle, by the way, can we do this? Can we like bring this into fashion? I would love it. Oh, we got another full page. Daisy is escorted to Koopa's chambers by a Goomba. Okay, so if you, listen, I'm gonna just say this right now. Um, if you don't know what the Goombas in this uh, world look like yet, because we've been just reading about them, and like, let's just say that you didn't watch the movie. Um, whatever you're thinking they might look like from like the video games, throw that away and get ready for a new nighttime terror. Just look at that, look at that thing. Just look at it. Though I do have to say, um, this dress that she wears, whew, the back has all these like hanging like crystal um, chains. Oh my God, it's so, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. Okay, Princess Daisy imprisoned is comforted by the royal pet Yoshi, Iggy, Wright, and Spike are brought before Koopa by two of his Goomba henchmen. Okay, last two. Luigi, Daisy, and the others look on in fear as Lena attempts to merge the dimensions. Koopa feels the effects of the merge. So, the real, f the real funny thing about this last picture is the fact that he has, like, lizard hands, which he usually doesn't, and I know that this is taken from, like, when he's, like, he keeps, like, switching back and forth, but I don't even know if this particular shot made it to the actual film. That's hilarious a fun look inside of the movie picture book thing. I am happy to report that I got the, um, the big Blu-ray box set anniversary edition of the Super Mario Brothers that had all of those like extra things in them. And I would love to do an unboxing for you guys and do like a deep dive on that uh, Blu-ray. And I think I'm going to do that. So be on the lookout for that coming up. Now that we're done this book, what should we do next for story time? Do you guys want more of these videos? Is this even fun for you? Does it matter because only 20 of you watch? I do care what you 20 want to see next. So let me know in the commentos below those. I have 
a couple other junior novelizations of movies. Some of them include uh, some Indiana Jones. I believe I have Clueless. I think I have Aquamarine. Um, I know I have Surf Ninjas, which you know is a personal favorite. I believe I have a Ghostbusters 2, <laughs> and Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, and of course, Batman Forever, which is like one of my favorite movies of all time. Actually, most of these things are uh, my, my favorite movies, which is why I wanted to get the junior novelizations. And some of them actually aren't junior novelizations. They're actually just the movie novelizations. I believe that the Surf Ninjas one is just a straight novelization and not a junior novelization. So I will uh, look through my collection and I will set up a poll in the community now. And then you guys can vote. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this massive, massive journey. It only took 15-ish episodes, I think 14 episodes, because I believe chapter 1 and chapter 2 were done in the same video. So it took about 14 episodes to get through it. I appreciate you guys um, for coming with me for this story time with me, Miss Jenny. I'll see you guys next time for something completely different. Bye. <laughs>